Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com, and today we're going to learn how to create the central store. So the central store's job is to give a one-stop shop repository for the files that constitute the ability to create stuff in group policy. Let's see what we're talking about here. So if I were to uh, create a brand new GPO here, call this a test one, two, three, ABC. It doesn't really matter for what we're doing here. All right, and click edit. If I can, here we go. Go ahead and click edit here. All the magic fairy dust inside a group policy object here under policies, admin templates is, you know, there's a lot of settings here. And the reason I'm seeing these settings is that they are, they live right now on my one machine. The problem is, is that if I roam from machine to machine, I won't have a consistent set of these template files called ADM, ADMX files. Now you've probably heard of ADM files and you can't put those in the central store. You get, you can only put um, ADMX files in the central store. So um, that's what's happening here. In fact, if we look, you can see it says right here that those files are retrieved from the local machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch it up and tell the GPMC not to get that information anymore locally, but rather to get it from the central store. Now the secret sauce here is you have to know where the central store lives. And it lives on, well, all domain controllers. You only need to go to one to make this happen. If we go to C program file, actually, sorry, C colon backslash windows, system 32, sysvol, windows rather, sysvol, sysvol. There we go. So under C, Windows, Sysvol, Sysvol, you're going to find the domain name under Policies, and here is where the magic happens. So we're going to keep this window open here, and then I'm also going to go to C colon backslash uh, Windows, and I'm going to look for a special directory called Policy Definitions. C, Windows, Policy Definitions, if I can find a darn thing. There it is. And my whole job now is to take this folder and its contents and move it up to the, well, right here. So where the domain name policies live, my whole job is to just, whoops, better not do that, is just take that directory and ching, copy it up here. When I copy it up here, something magical happens in the GPMC's brain. It no longer looks for stuff locally, the very next time we click edit in that same group policy object, those files, the ADMX files, instead of looking locally, it now is looking in the central store. So there's a lot more to the central store. We can't get into all that today, but that is how, in fact, you create the central store. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon on gpanswers.com.